Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat, and today I want to talk about why I plan on deleting social media. Uh, I haven't actually done it yet, but people have been mentioning it to me in the comment section, and I thought about it for a while, and um, you know, there's several reasons why I'd like to do this. Um, the first being that, well, I don't really use it that much, um, or more specifically, I don't really post anything. And um, yeah, so there's no reason for me to have it if I'm not actually sharing my life. And this, I guess one might argue, well, don't you wanna see what your friends are doing, your quote unquote friends who randomly add you, most of whom you don't actually really know in real life, but they just add you because you might have met once or, you know, maybe like a friend of a friend, you know, spam ads, everybody because they're recommended to them, whatever. So like, yeah, like my, my quote unquote friends on social media, um, well, I don't really want to see what they're doing because, um, well, you know, needs are pretty rare and none of them are pretty much no, none of them are need. Instead, all of them are, you know, showing the best parts of their lives and um you know when you're neat and you don't really have much going for you it definitely makes you feel like shit so you know i guess deleting social media and when i say deleting social media i don't i don't just mean deleting like the apps because i've done that before i i feel like i mean deleting my account but i feel like deleting my account would definitely help you know sway me away from that temptation of uh, you know needless self comparison with other people so that is another reason why i want to delete it and also the other thing is because i don't post anything um you know i guess you know how your social media is kind of like a work resume well, I feel like by not posting anything, I basically have like a a five I, a five year like gap in my work resume, I guess. Like, and when you think about it, like when you have like a gap on your work resume, it's pretty much the worst thing possible. Uh, and I feel like it's kind of similar in terms of like social media, where like. All I really have on like my Instagram, for example, is uh, two photos, <laughs> which I took because my friend was trying to like force me to make it. And I just made two photos, uploaded two photos of me. Like he took the pictures, but after that, I never really uploaded it since. And um, yeah, so basically I have like two pictures from when I made it, which was like five years ago, and then pretty much nothing afterwards. So when people see that, I feel like it's almost weirder that I don't have anything on it for so long. It kind of makes me, kind of tells people that you're neat or at the very least that you have no life. Obviously this is might be all in my head, but I feel like that's kind of the message it conveys. I feel like it's better if you just have maybe, you know, if you had two photos, but the account was new, cause then I'll get into this later, but yeah. Um, well, I'll just get it now. Like, I feel like, for example, if I were to just like delete it and then when I feel like reintegrating to society, if I ever like managed to do so, decide to make like a new uh, Instagram account, for example, then I could just uh, like, even if I just made it and it only had two photos, then it would be more like plausible or more, I guess, socially acceptable because, you know, the account is new and then when, when you make an account like that, you can just tell the normies that, oh, you know, like my Facebook account was hacked or, you know, I'm resetting my my life or I don't know what you tell like normies, but like you would just say like, yeah, my basically like the, the most cop out answer, but the most, I guess, I don't know, the answer that has the most p plausible deniability is that, well, yeah, my Facebook account, my Instagram account got hacked and therefore I had to, you know, delete it. And then, you know, I'm starting to re-upload and you can kind of just like pick up where you should have been, you know, where you should have left off and just, you know, 
because the account's deleted, you know, people who don't really know you can will just have to assume that in your previous account, you had like you 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 were uploading a lot of photos. So I mean, I guess that's also my plan for the future, I guess. But anyways, yeah. So that's another reason why I wanted to delete. Uh, sorry, I accidentally uh, paused the recording. Uh, but yeah, um, continuing on with what I was saying. Um, yeah, I guess. So another thing that caused me to delete it is that um, recently, maybe like a week ago, you know, like my high school friends who um, I'm not really too fond of at this point, they um, they added me to like a like one of them added me to this group chat and um, they all um, you know they all uh, started you know tagging me like at you know my name at comfy I guess you could say and uh, you know I was like you know fuck no I don't really want to deal with that anymore because well uh, you know I'm yeah I think I said I already said that I'm not too fond of them uh, for a couple of reasons, um, you know, we had good times, obviously, but, um, yeah, I don't want, it's like, I don't want the people, it's like, yeah, it's, I don't want the people who I used to know, especially people who I was really, holy shit, who I was really close to at, uh, some point, um, you know, seeing me the way I am and, you know, kind of guessing, like, that I'm in need or that I'm not really doing anything with my life. Uh, although I guess I couldn't really know that for sure, but I feel like they must maybe sense it because I don't really, you know, post pictures of me going on trips or going on, you know, having a girlfriend or even like graduating. Like I don't even have like a friggin', you know, college graduation pic because I'm a dropout and a fucking loser. And, um, yeah, so I don't want them seeing that. If anything, I feel like if I delete my social media, then... All of my friends who um, I, I guess, who I sort of, you know, left behind, or I guess maybe more accurately, they left me behind. Why? Well, it's kind of like a two-way thing, I guess. But I feel like they uh, basically will hope will hopefully forget about me. I f I want to kind of like fade into obscurity for them, and I feel like deleting my social media would be almost like wiping the wiping the slate clean in a sense kind of like hitting the reset button on my my digital my digital footprint or my digital whatever digital presence my digital form um and you know maybe present the opportunity like i kind of want to like fade from people's existence and then you know once i've quote unquote ascended if i ever manage to do so then i'll I'll resurface as this new, imp new and improved version of myself. I'll, I might even re-add the people that I used to know, and you know, then maybe I could say, "Oh, I, you know, I was suffering from depression, which is technically not untrue sometimes, or I was suffering." You know, I could tell them about being neat, but I feel like that's just a death sentence socially because then people just assume that you're some like, you know neat you know incel what's the difference honestly you know normies there obviously is a difference but normies really don't give a shit so well most i'm pretty sure some are understanding but you know 90 90 percent maybe probably associate the two or they can't distinguish them so i'll just tell people that you know oh I'll j I suffered from depression for so many years and I came out of it and look at me now, I'm successful. So yeah, wiping the slate clean is definitely another reason for it. And um, yeah, aside from that, um, I just don't want, yeah, like the people who used to talk shit to me to have access to me because, you know, I feel like there is a time when I might occasionally check it and then when I see them, you know, talking crap about me, like, which, you know, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do at some point. I feel like it's just, I'd rather, you know, if anything, you know, make a new account and maybe not even add them. I mean, I could just unfriend them, but um, I guess that wouldn't really play into my whole, you know, my whole goal of, you know, resetting my digital 
presence. And, you know, so these are some of the many reasons why I want to delete social media. Um, I guess I do have, I am a bit apprehensive because um, for a few reasons, one of which is that, well, I feel like a few people that do care about me, especially like family members might notice that I've suddenly disappeared off of, you know, Facebook at least because they have me on there and they have messaged me on Facebook Messenger. And there are maybe like one or two people that I, I guess I'm okay with and I, I feel sort of bad, you know, ghosting them in my attempt to ghost society basically because that's kind of what it would be like ghosting society. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, um, another thing is that, you know, I feel like kind of related is that like, I feel like I'd be, you know, burning bridges and I might have some sort of unforeseen consequences that I'm not really thinking of. So, um, I feel like, yeah, uh, what else, what else? Um, I guess another thing would be that, uh, can't really think of anything else but yeah i mean if you guys can you know maybe think of anything any other reasons why i shouldn't do it then please let me know in the comment section or if you think it's a good idea then let me know too um i'm really on the fence about it but i'm leaning towards doing it uh i haven't done it yet which is why the, it'll the video will be won't be titled why i deleted my social media but it'll be titled why i'm deleting it because i'm about to but you know i'm gonna wait for a bit think things through maybe i'm not in my right mind at the moment and but you know if i do delete my social media hey here's another good reason for it um you know you guys won't be able to dox me so because <laughs> my real name won't be out there i won't be connected to my high school friends and you know people can't find me through my through other people and you know might not chance upon me chance upon my actual identity by knowing a contact a contact of a contact and you know if ever i get discovered like my channel like blows up probably pretty unlikely but if, if ever it blows up then um you know uh also well i won't have to deal with you know everybody spamming me and talking shit to me on Facebook Messenger and I could just, you know, make a new account then or something. I have no clue. I could also, I feel like if anything, it sort of represents me shedding my old identity and, um, you know, reincarnating, if that makes sense. Yeah, shedding my old self behind, wiping the slate clean, um, letting my past go in a way. Maybe I'm just rationalizing my fear of using it. I think maybe soon I'll also talk about why I'm so afraid of posting on social media. So, but yeah, anyways, um, I sort of meant to end the video a little bit earlier, but I kind of ended up rambling for a bit more. But anyways, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this content. And this is Comfy Neat signing out. Uh, sorry guys, I just remembered one more reason why I'm apprehensive about deleting Facebook and that's because, or just social media in general, and that's because um, I feel like it's like my only connection to society in a way. And I guess, you know, although it does make me feel bad that I'm, you know, not living a good life like that, uh, I feel like sometimes those bad feelings actually motivate me to improve as a person like it makes me think you know and sometimes I do think thoughts like you know hey I could be living that life if I just put my self you know I put myself out there and I you know actually tried and um I sort of see what I'm missing out on and that's can be a good both a good and a bad thing I guess it depends on how much you make yourself feel bad about bad about it versus, uh, you know, maybe seeing it as something that can inspire you maybe, you know, and uh, I feel like maybe me deleting Facebook is actually me 
just running away from, you know, you know, I'm not facing my fears as a person and, you know, I'm not, it's, it's basically making me weaker because I'm avoiding, you know, I'm avoiding something that might, uh, I don't know, maybe signal to me where I actually stand socially. It might, and I feel like maybe me deleting social media and never having that, never getting to see where my friends are in life, friends, or not friends, like people I used to know currently are in life, might only further contribute to me disconnecting more to disconnecting more from society and um yeah so i feel like maybe it might be bad in that sense and that by seeing other people and where they are in life i can you know it'll give me more perspective as to how i am as a person although maybe that's also just me um you know clinging on to like my ego and needing to my sort of um you know how is conditioned to like compare myself to other people but anyways that's just what i wanted to add it because i just remembered another reason why I, sorry my train of thought isn't always good and i often remember things that i wanted to say mid video after i've shot it so i just decided to like add that on anyways this is company signing out